Okay man, we're back today and today I wanted to talk about the intrinsic value of Bitcoin. Maybe you guys don't know, maybe you're like, what the hell is Bitcoin? Why is this stupid thing? It's just a computer program and why does it have intrinsic value? I'm gonna tell you why I think, it's my personal opinion, why I think that Bitcoin does have intrinsic value. So first we have to talk about what is intrinsic value. Okay, intrinsic value. I think that the best way to explain intrinsic value is, for instance, gold. Gold has intrinsic value because gold is something physical that we need. For instance, we need gold for parts in computers. We need gold to look shiny, you know, like gold teeth or something. I don't even have gold teeth, but you get it. So gold does have intrinsic value. Why? You need to search for gold. You need to mine gold, clean gold, refine it. There's a lot of work in gold before you can even use it for something, you know? It is something that you can touch that gives it intrinsic value. Bitcoin, on the other hand, why does that have intrinsic value? It's just a computer program. It's just a file, you know? It's nothing special, you see. You'll be like, why does it even have value? Well, what's the point? How, how come it has value? Why can't we just copy paste wallets and just spend money? Why does it have value? Remember you guys, it went from nothing to like, $20,000. So explain this to me, you'll be like. It starts with the idea behind the Bitcoin source, you know? The idea behind the Bitcoin as a program, the core, the blockchain. What, what is it all? And why does it have intrinsic value? And why I think that it has intrinsic value, and I think that a lot of you guys would agree with me, is because it is using OpenSSL. What the hell is OpenSSL? I've never heard of OpenSSL. It's gibberish to me. Well, OpenSSL, it's an encryption program? I don't even know if I could call it a program or a protocol. But what OpenSSL does is create irreversible mathematics. So what's the point of that? Well, the point of that irreversible mathematics is that whenever it creates a, well, they call it in Bitcoin, private key. Whenever it creates a private key, you'll be sure that you will be the only one having that private key. And the private key is getting transformed into an address. And you can share that address with everybody. But the private key is the key to your wealth, to your money, to your Bitcoin. Why does it have intrinsic value? Because whenever I have a private key, I know that you won't have a private key. That's where it starts. So you'll be like, okay, so you have a private key and I don't have your private key and you copy your private key and you have doubled your money. Well, it doesn't work like that. It works like the private key is an access to a certain amount of coins that is written in the blockchain. Blockchain, I don't even know what a blockchain is. The idea behind blockchain is you'll have a wallet and that Bitcoin core wallet can have coins in it. And if there are coins, in it, they are written to a private key. You'll be like, okay, so I don't have coins, so how the hell do I get some coins? Well, there are several ways to get the coins. You can either buy it from someone else, or you can generate them yourself. You can mine them, as they call it. And what is mining? Mining means checking all the transactions that have been in the previous time period, so since day one. You'll check the transactions, and these transactions, they are all compiled together in one block. So every 10 minutes for Bitcoin, there is a new block, and that block is getting in the chain of blocks. So the first transaction ever was in block one. There wasn't even a transaction yet in block one because it was not possible. Because whenever a block is being mined, whenever computers are validating that there is no double spending, that the private keys that they use to transact to each other, that those are valid, that they're not fake, a block reward is being created. And a block reward is sent to a certain private key. So that's where it starts. So the first block ever, they call it the block of Satoshi Nakamoto, it created 50 Bitcoins at that time. But there were no transactions in the first block because there were no Bitcoins yet. Every time a new block is being generated, the miners get a reward. 50 Bitcoins is a lot nowadays, but it's not one computer doing it nowadays. It's now a whole pool, a whole collection of computers mining all together. The amount of mining force that you give to the network, you will get rewarded for that. Let's just start about private keys. How many different private keys are there? OpenSSL uses an elliptic curve. And I've been talking about the elliptic curve before, but we're not going into that keys. There are 265 bits of different private keys. So bits will be ones and zeros all on the line. So you wanna know how many different private keys are possible. The way to calculate the amount of private keys is just by thinking of bits. Let's start with bits. A bit is either a one, or a zero, which gives us two options, two. And Bitcoin private keys, they use a total amount of 256 bits. So we can say it's two to the power of 256. That's the amount of private keys possible. We'll get an enormous big ass number. I have to grab a calculator to be actually sure. So that will be two. I don't know if y'all can see it, 
but two to the power two five six okay that's a lot oh, 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 oh no way that's way too many private keys oh my god okay so like i said a bit can either be a zero or a one so there are two choices let's make the simple calculation so how do you calculate this we'll have the amount of two choices you can have one one zero zero one zero and can zero one then we have four different possibilities it's two possibilities for every placement if you have three numbers you can either have the whole first two situation that we just talked about you know about the one one zero 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 one one that combination we can do that one time with a one in front and we could at one time with a zero in front which gave us four and another four that's eight possibilities so it's two times two times two if you're only using three numbers it gives us eight and am i getting through to you guys does this make sense to you guys so how do you calculate this it's two possibilities for every placement. So whenever we have 256 numbers, you say two to the power 256. And that will give us an answer, which is enormous. It's one with 77 zeros. So that's a number I don't even know. I don't even know how to how to say that number in numbers because I can only think of 100, 1000, 1 million, billion, trillion, quadrillion. I don't even know how it goes on. When we say 1 million, it's one times 10 to the power of six. That's 1 million. Now we're talking about one times 10 to the power of 77. So that's, so what does this say? Yeah, but one day the computers will be faster and they will be able to hack this stuff. They can generate all the private keys and they were gonna steal all your money. Well, let's say computers get one million times stronger. Let's say just one million. That's only 10 to the power six less. If computers get million times faster, then there is still no chance that they can brute force all this stuff. That gives it a little bit of intrinsic value. The fact that I know for sure that my private key is safe, the chances of anybody ever having the same private key, there aren't any chances, man. I'm quite sure of that. You're not gonna be able to generate a private key that's already in you. Some of you guys were asking me like, oh, can you check out this video? Do you think this is true? Do you think we can create, just create a computer program that just generates all sorts of private keys and accidentally just gets one. All those videos on YouTube, I don't trust any of those videos because I've been watching those videos too. You know what it is? How many atoms do you think that there are in the universe? You cannot hold them. You know, there are already millions of atoms here. Air atoms, you know, like oxygen atoms, like nitrogen atoms. Well, there are more possible private keys than there are atoms in the entire universe. So how big is the chance that you would find exactly the same private key as I would to make things even harder? It's not only Bitcoin. We have Ethereum. We have Litecoin. We have Juggy coin. You have so many different coins. There are way more private keys in the crypto currency world then there are atoms in the entire universe not 10 times as much not 100 times as much way more i do not believe that within the upcoming 100 years we can make computers millions times faster well not like i said million is not even what's a million man a million is like 10 to the power 6 that's nothing compared to 10 to the power 77 the intrinsic value in bitcoin is the fact that you are quite sure that your private key is yours my point is it is impossible to double spend Bitcoin. It's impossible to say that it does not have intrinsic value. It must have intrinsic value because only I can have those private keys. You can have my private key and you have your private keys. I can't have those. We can share it, but it's something different. But you cannot double spend it because the blockchain will check. The miners will check that you do not spend double. And that's the whole idea of money. And I 100% believe that the cryptocurrencies are real money. After all these years that I've been in this industry, I am certain that it is real money because I can double spend it. So it must be money because I cannot double spend this money. I cannot double spend the money that I have on my bank account. I hope you guys learned something new today. I hope you guys do understand what intrinsic value is and why Bitcoin does have intrinsic value. And if you did enjoy this video, just let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, it would be so awesome if you would subscribe to my channel. Every time I get new subscribers, I get motivated to make more videos. And the more likes I get on videos, the more I produce the same kind of video. So if you did enjoy it, let me know, man. And it was awesome, as always, to have you guys around here. I hope you did enjoy it. And see you guys in the next episode. Play on! I had a lot of energy today. You know why? I've just been working on it. Check this out. I have a lot of stamps, man. That means I've been working out a lot. And I've been working out today, the 16th of August. And I get a lot of smiles. Every time I go training, I get a little smile.
I'm just a beginner. As you can see, it was only 14 times, but <laughs> I did it and I needed it because I lost a lot of weight in the last couple of years sitting on my computer all the time, you know? Woo! We did it! Hope you guys did enjoy it. Bye!